Greetings. So I am back with another video. I've been working to be consistent with doing these videos. This would be episode three, if we're looking at it in terms of episodes. Um, out in nature, of course, this is where we come to commune. Um, and so the last couple of videos I made, I talked about the importance of things like movement and breathing, movement and breathing. And as I say that, the wind blows, <laughs> the wind blows. It's important every single day to begin your day with a sense of balance. And we throw out these words and words have meaning. And so in these videos, I want to make sure that we're on the same page, that people know what I'm talking about when I use certain words. So when I say balance, what I mean is a calm center, right? Because sometimes life can be chaotic because we are chaotic beings. That's how creation is made, through chaos, right? It's from that chaos comes order. And that means that we have to get in order because if we're not in order then we are in chaos and as i stated as chaos has its purpose it is still chaos and so when i say balance i mean bringing all of the chaos within you because you are chaos bring it within you to a place of center a place of of of, of balance meaning that you're not too far right or too far left because when we use these words these words are a sense of direction right is a direction left is a direction balance is is what it is it's a place of balance when you think about it in terms of, of scales you think about the scales of justice the scales of justice um that's a whole nother conversation but the scales of justice they are balanced not necessarily equal but they're balanced because they're weighed right it's based on weights and measurements life is weights and measurements and so we start with balance so we bring our breath calmly to center and as you breathe in Feel your body feeling, feeling, I always do that. <laughs> I do that often, let me say that. Feel, feel your body feeling with the breath of creation. As you breathe in, imagine yourself being filled with just creative energy, which is absolutely unlimited. If you look out, when you go outside in nature and you look at everything, you look at the grass, the grass is always, always growing. No matter what time of year it is, you'll find something in nature that is green because creation is always happening, always happening, always happening. Creation and destruction, always happening. So when we think about when we think about this thing in terms of seasons, you know, from the, the, the spring, you have renewal and regrowth after the winter, right? What is it? After winter must come spring. Shout out to Lauren Hill. Change comes eventually, right? And so from the winter comes the spring. So everything, you know, specifically if you live in a climate that has winter, right? During the winter, things are covered with ice and with snow and things like that um, and there's a frost over the land and then that thawing happens and so as we think about how we go through these seasons we go through these seasons with nature and so you go through the spring you grow correct you grow through the spring season spring is about renewal and regrowth regeneration 
So we bring, we breathe in the fresh waters of spring, the fresh renewal of spring. And now we find ourselves in this moment, if you are in the Western Hemisphere, you find yourself in the moment of summer. Summer, 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 summer sun, summer, you know, summer fun, summer, summertime, happiness, joy, outside, being outside. It's very um, fire energy, very Leo energy. Shout out to all my Leos out there. Uh, it's that Leo energy, that fire, that youthful, childlike, let's get outside and play sort of energy. That's what summer is. Summer is recess. But it's also a time to reset, to reset your internal soul, your internal sun, your internal, your internal system. Everything is a system. So you are resetting your internal system, your internal sun. We actually just had um, the serious, uh, serious gateway and the serious alignment with the, with the, the constellation Sirius, which is considered our spiritual sun. And so we just had that. I believe it was what was it on. Um, 7-7, seven, seven. right. So it was on 7-7, seven, seven, I think through about, you know, round to about the 10th, 11th, something like that. But the the spiritual sun came, you know, we, we received energy and, and, and information. Because remember, everything, everything is communicating. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. Everything around you is communicating. The trees are communicating. The trees are breathing. They're living things that's why they're always creating because they're living things as you are and so follow me here so we go through the the summer season which is where we are so actually we're just going to pause for now because well not pause but we're, we're this is where we are in this moment if you are in the western hemisphere if you are somewhere else you may find yourself in a different season you may be in autumn where now things are starting to change a bit Things are starting to slow down a bit. Things are starting to cool off a bit, right? And so it's, there's not that fiery, passionate energy. There's more of a warmth. There's more of a, of, a, of a family. There's more of a just kind of a cooling down period, if you may, before you get to the winter season. But for those of us who are in the Western Hemisphere, as I stated, we are in the summer season. And so with that, it's important to make sure that we keep in touch with the seasons. So as much as you can, eat the foods of the seasons. Those things help you to remain in harmony with what nature is doing, right? What nature is doing in the seasons. And so, you know, I tell people eating watermelons, you know, for us melanated so-called black folks, you know, eating watermelons became, you know, we became at some point, some of us, not all of us, some of us were ashamed to eat chicken and watermelons because of the caricatures that were depicted of our people. Um, eating chicken and watermelons but let me tell you something I've made several videos about the benefits of watermelon it's really like drinking water but it's also sweet and nourishing and filled with all sorts of vitamins and minerals that are great for your cells internally like think about it internally um, the it, it actually hydrates the inside of your body in a way that some liquids can't do that because it, it is it is nature itself understand what I'm saying so as you guys watch these videos you'll see I just I flow with it it's not there's not a specific agenda that I come out here with and I do these videos the information that I receive as I'm sitting under the Sun the information that I'm receiving from the Sun from the universe that I, I give to you with the hopes that it helps you on your journey whatever your journey may be for most people that find this channel most people are either on a sp spiritual journey or a wellness journey or both right or just a life journey and 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 on their own quest finding themselves but wherever life finds you you found yourself here and so for whatever however whatever brought you here thank you for being thank you for being a bee just um a bee just tried to kiss the kiss the camera so the bee says thank you as well shout out to all the pollinators um i uh it's, it's definitely the season for the bees and the butterflies um and pollination right like spring also it's the season for pollination so you find yourself you may find yourself in a very creative space 
And so that's been a theme lately. So some of the, some of the themes that have come to me uh, through spirit has been focus, right? Focus. So one of the things that helps us to focus is just like we were talking about is focusing on your breath. And so that is, like I stated, bringing into balance, into the center, your breath and allowing your breath to guide you. When I say your breath, I don't mean like, you know, your breath and how it smells or what, I, you know, I don't mean that. What I mean is the actual oxygen, the life force of the breath within your body that oxygenates every single cell in your body that allows you to, um, that allows you to, and animates you, right? It animates this vessel of yours. It animates you so that you can actually do, right? Um, so focus, trust. Now, some of you out there may be having a difficult time trusting your intuition, but if you have come across this video, please know, understand, understand, overstand. It is important that you trust your intuition. You trust your gut. And you've heard me also talk about this. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've talked about trusting your gut. Um, and for me, that was one of the things that I really had to work on a lot, um, was my gut, which is the solar plexus, which is the sun, right? The S O L the soul, but it's also, if you think about it, it's also the soul. And so this is why I talk so much about grounding the soles of your feet on the earth so that it helps you to rebalance because if your gut, if your gut is not in check, it's difficult, if not impossible, to follow your intuition because you are all over the place, because you're not sure, you're not trusting, right? You're not trusting your gut because your gut is unstable. And if your gut is unstable, you're all over the place, right? I've been there. You know, it's something that I have to, I work through all the time because I know that it's something that has been a challenge for me before. And one of the ways that I tell folks, you know, in, in doing this is to, like I said, your breath work, grounding your energy, because that helps you to, that helps you to actually ground the energy so that you're not all over the place. If you think about it, if you think about it like an airplane, right, to land the plane, to ground the plane, you're grounding that energy into the earth and building from that place, building from that stable place and growing like the tree that you are, building from that place, building a firm foundation, building your own foundation, building a new foundation, not based on instability, but based on stability, right? Trusting your intuition. So, with that said, let's focus on our breath. Let's focus on our breathing, bringing yourself to center. And as you breathe, you want to continue to breathe, even if it's little, like, to you, it little inhales that you can fill up your body so much so that you actually feel every single cell in your body, every cell in your body being energized. You are literally breathing in life force energy. And as you do that, the cells in your body are being unlocked and unleashed. The cells, right? Like a gel cell, the cells in your body are being unleashed. So all that dormant energy, all that those, as they call them, what do they call it? Uh, junk DNA, right? All of the junk DNA is being activated. This activates your superpowers, if you may. Breathing in and activating your cells so that they come alive. And imagine, imagine, imagine Use your imagination. That's also a part of this, this youthful summer Leo energy is this youthful childlike energy and using your imagination to create. 
using your imagination. And so what we're doing is we are using our imagination and imagining, because it's really, it's what's really happening, but you want to be aware and mindful of what's actually happening in your physical body. So as you are breathing in nature and clean air and oxygen and you're drinking clean water and all of these things, you are quite literally unlocking the cells in your body that have been dormant, deactivated, destabilized, de-anything, right? Because, because DE is separation. So we're bringing these things into wholeness, into balance. We're bringing it right back to balance. We're bringing ourselves alive. We are truly activating ourselves. So imagine all of your cells being activated all the way from the soles of your feet to the top of your head, to your crown and beyond. As you breathe in, imagine and know all of your chakras, every single energy center, all of the wheels are turning within your body. They're all turning up the spine. They're unlocking the energy up the spine so that once it gets to the crown, it allows you to connect with the cosmos so that the energy that you receive from the cosmos is clear. It has a clear channel because you are in alignment, you are balanced. And so start your day this way. Or if you find yourself off balance at any part of the day, allow yourself to regroup using these techniques. These are things you don't need a guru necessarily to teach you to do these things. These are things that you can do on your own, but most people are not aware of their own bodies as, as I was not always aware of my own body and my own power and energy. And so I make these videos for a number of reasons, but to empower, to truly put power into you, meaning that you have power, but you gotta make sure that you open it up and you tap into it. So. We talked about unlocking the energy. And so now we want to talk about moving because you know my other thing is making sure that we move and that we move with flow and with intention. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to just do some stretches. Now you guys may not be able to see me because how my tri how, the way my tripod's set up, <laughs> I haven't quite figured out the, the proper angle for it yet. But as these videos progress, y'all will see y'all will see it progress but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some some basic stretches I am um, not yet I'm, I'm in training when it comes to different yoga poses and things like that uh, like I told you before I just come out and just kind of do what my body tells me that I need to do and where the energy is in my body um, that needs to be you know that needs to be released so what we're gonna do is if you guys are familiar with certain yoga poses and now here's the thing I may not even be able to tell y'all the names of these poses I can just tell you that what makes sense to me and so this is what I do so if there's somebody out there that knows specifically because these things escape me sometimes that's okay too so if you know let me know so what I do is I make sure that I'm able to stretch the spine, right? Because as we talk about releasing the energy and allowing the energy to travel up the spine, we want to make sure that the spine is open. And so all of the joints within the spine are unlocked, right? And so in doing that, we want to stretch the spine. So what I'm doing, if you can't see, um, actually you can't see the bottom of my body or uh, my knees on the, on, on the mat, but my knees are on the mat, right? My feet, the, the, my toes are tucked under, are also on the mat, with the palms of my hands also on the mat. And so you want to stretch out your spine. Oh, this one is child's pose, it just came to me. Makes sense, right? So in child's pose, we're gonna stretch out the spine by coming back with our butt over the heels of our feet keeping our hands out straight. We are stretching out 
the spine. And as you are in this position, imagine every single vertebrae in your spine being open. You feel the stretch in your arms. And you continue to breathe in. And as you breathe out, as you breathe out, release further into the pose. And so you're going to be breathing out with your butt going further back, further back, further back to stretch out the spine. Make sure that you have a good stretch in your spine. And you should also feel the stretch in your arms. Now, we want to breathe in as we come up. Bring your body to the mat and bring your body up with your knees still firmly planted on the mat. Now in this pose, you should feel, if you have any tension in your hips, you should feel your hips open up and you may actually hear a clicking in your, in your hips. That is the energy in your hips being, being unlocked and unleashed. So you can actually feel that energy in your hips. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that again, so make sure we want to make sure that we got it right. So, child's pose. So if you if you are starting on your knees, you want to, as you get into position, you want to breathe in, right? So we inhale in position. We're starting once again with our knees planted firmly on the mat and we breathe in. And as we exhale, we're going to come back on our knee on, onto the heels of our feet with our butt very slowly. And so as you breathe out, just breathe out. Feeling the stretch in your arms, feeling the stretch in your spine, opening up that vertebrae, opening up the vertebrae. And so as I stated, this is very, very good for those who have had back pains, right? And so when you come up, once again, we are going to have your knees still planted firmly on the ground or on the, on the mat. Keep your hips level. Your arms should be um, out straight. And what I mean by that is your, your palms planted firmly on the mat with your arms straight, straight, so that you feel the stretch once again in your lower, in your lower back. So you should feel the stretch right here in your lower back, right? Now, all of these movements, we're focusing on the breath. So pay attention to what your breath is doing. So if you feel yourself out of breath, then pay attention to what you feel in that moment and where where your body is positioned in that moment because that will let you know where you are actually out of balance, right? So if, you're, if your breath cannot sustain a specific pose, just pay attention to that. If you have a journal, make sure that you, uh, make sure that you journal that. I'm actually going to have journals available soon on my website, your, well, you know, wellness journals, so that you can keep track of these things as we do these different exercises and movements every day. Um, you can keep track of where you are on your particular wellness journey. But for now, make a note of it so that you can be mindful of what you need to address. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to rise up. So once again, your feet, your, your, your toes are gonna be tucked under your, uh, under your feet. And I, I gotta figure out how to do this angle so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing so that it makes sense to you. But I'm going to, you know, Explain it as best I can. So your toes are gonna to be on the mat, right? With your heels up and you're going to lift up. You're gonna press down with your, because your palms are still planted firmly um, on, the, on the mat, right? And with your palms, you're going to push yourself up so that you find yourself in this space where your spine is now curved. Now this is an Egyptian goddess, Newt, which is the goddess of the stars and the cosmos. 
And so imagine your spine being pulled up to the cosmos, raising up to Mother Newt. You're pulling your spine up to the cosmos. But as this is happening, you also are mindful of your core. So you also feel the pull, you feel the stretch in your core right here. You feel it right here, right? And so you feel the muscles in your core actually being tightened as your spine is being elongated and pulled up to Mother Newt, to the cosmos. So in this position, we are now going to breathe and push yourself up onto your feet uh, so that your feet now are planted firmly on the mat, okay? And so as we push in, we're going to breathe in, pushing ourselves up and allowing further stretching of the spine. So as you feel the pressure on your spine, right? You're on your feet and as you come up, you're totally